Hey everyone, welcome back to Whiskey Quest. My name is Antonio Perez and tonight we're going to be drinking Sexton, the single malt Irish whiskey. This is a uh, triple distilled in copper pot stills. It's a pretty awesome looking bottle. Uh, my only complaint about this is that uh, every time you pour it, uh, you're going to have a uh, some whiskey dripping onto the side, so uh, I'm gonna have to keep something handy to either clean that up. It's up to you if you wanna let it run down there, but uh, might just ruin the label if you wanna have it as a presentation. You're gonna display it on your shelf, you don't want it to look all beat up and stuff, um, cause it is a pretty nice looking bottle. And honestly, that's what caught my attention the first time I saw this um, at the store. It's 40% uh, ABV and it's uh, aged in European oak uh, X cherry barrels. It's a no age statement bottle, but I did find this um, uh, website uh, called uh, irishcentral.com and they interviewed the master blender there. Um, her name's uh, Alex Thomas, and she actually disclosed in the interview that it's uh, they aged it for four years. So, you know, I don't know why they couldn't just put it on here, but uh, at least she went uh, on record and said it was four years old. So, there you have it. Um, this is a very sweet uh whiskey that um i think a lot of people uh either you're brand new or experienced uh can come to appreciate something like this and it's a single malt you know uh 25 dollars is what it's uh retailing for um i actually got this one on sale for 19.99 so you know i wasn't gonna pass that up and I don't know if it has any coloring, but it's a, it's a fairly light um, goldish color, but you know, pretty on the light side. Uh, so I'm assuming it doesn't have coloring, otherwise it would have been maybe a little bit darker or something. But uh, considering the four years of an X sherry barrel, you know, I guess it's a, it's a pretty good, decent color there. And let's get to it. On the nose, the nose is very fruity. I get pears and I get apples right up front. I mean, you can smell that cherry. Also get some cranberries and like a hint of raisins. There's some kind of like powdered sugar too in there. Um, it actually reminds me of um, the uh, funnel cakes, the sugar you put on top. That's, that's, that's what, uh, you know, as soon as I get that sugary smell. That's what uh, pops into my head. But that's the nose right there. Pretty, pretty fruity and sweet. Man, the palate. The palate. Right up front, I get. I get apricots. I get some chocolate. I get that powdered sugar. It's a bitter, peppery note right in the back. And it's all with like a silky mouthfeel. So it's a. Uh, it'll stay there for a bit. So I'd say this is about a medium finish. It's very oaky, peppery, with like mint in the very back of that finish right there. It's a very delightful whiskey, honestly. Um, I'm really enjoying this. Anyways, um, I'm gonna add a little bit of water to this. It's 40%, so I don't wanna overdo it. It does open it up. It does change it a little bit. Um, so I'll let that sit there for a little bit. 
and talk a little bit more about this in the meantime. So this is fairly new. It was released back in November of uh, 2017. And according to that website, in the interview, she said that uh, it's distilled in the old Bushmills uh, distillery. Um, the company that makes this is uh, called uh, Proximo, which is owned by Cuervo, uh, Jose Cuervo. And uh, Jose Cuervo owns, you know, uh, Bushmill. So that's how they got to uh, uh, distill it there. And um, I mean, the amount of uh, attention that whiskey has gotten in recent years is like, you know, it's it's crazy. So, I mean, that's why we're getting a lot of these no age statement whiskeys now is because they got to keep up with demand. And Ireland... Um, I'm not sure how many distilleries they have, but it's not as much as Scotland or, or the U.S., you know. But uh, with all this craze happening, um, uh, it's guaranteed there's going to be more things popping up. And uh, can't wait to try them all. Um, especially they're in this price range. I mean, come on, 25 bucks. It's not bad at all. Also on their website, uh, they talk about um, the name behind this uh, Sexton. Uh, Sexton, in case you've never heard it or just don't know what it is. Um, it comes from the uh, Latin word, uh, I believe it's pronounced uh, sacristanus, um, which means that it's the custodian of sacred uh, objects. And the sexton was the person who prepared uh, the graves and was also the last person to see uh, the body before it was laid to rest so you know that's why you get the that uh, skull with the top head on the bottom I mean that's pretty awesome looking I don't know if you can see that if not you'll see it on the picture at the end of the video um, so yeah, there you have it, the Sexton. Um, pretty awesome whiskey, if you ask me. I'm enjoying this a lot. Um, with the water, it changes a little bit. I'll let you know what I get. You get I get sugar glazed apples now. I get some cereal notes. A little bit of the raisins, but it's, you know, they're really faded now. I get more of that sugary kind of note. And on the palate, the palate, it brings out nutty flavors right up front, followed by some powdered sugar. And it's a little bit of toffee there in there too. I mean, that's as much as it changes, but it's, uh, you know, you get some different uh, flavors there going on. Uh, the finish uh, with the water, to me, is still medium length. Uh, you know, you still get the oak, mint, and that sugar right in the back. And it's just, you know, it stays there for a little bit. You know, considering it's only 40%. So I'm curious if, um, you know, they could have bottled this maybe at 43 or 45. I mean, I think that would have made a huge difference. Um, but I mean, it was a new product. I know they want to stretch it out and get as much as they can out of their barrels. Um, but I have a really good feeling that they're going to uh, do pretty good and end up coming up with some uh, other products for us to to enjoy and hopefully they'll have a little bit higher ABV on their on their stuff there so final notes for this whiskey um, $25.99 it's a uh, awesome uh, single malt Irish whiskey pick yourself up a bottle give this a shot um, you know even if you don't like Irish whiskey maybe you know somebody that that uh, enjoys Irish whiskey and, you know, tell them to pick this up. I think this is something that everybody should uh, uh, get a chance to enjoy. Um, 
And like I said, it's only 25 bucks. It's not like you're gonna go out and spend, you know, 50, 60 dollars on this. It's a pretty decent price. And if you find it on sale, even better, you know, just like I did. So um, if you're enjoying my video, you know, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, leave me some comments. Have you tried this? Let me know what you think. Um, share this video with other people. And we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.